Hi, and welcome back to Brightside. We're discovering how, how to be single and be happy in the world around us. So really, let's, let's get right back into what we were talking about. Um, what do you think is the most successful way that we can combine living a purposeful life as well as walking in a relationship? Can you, can you give me just a real quick what that would look like? Yes, um, it's basically about having a balanced life, which is what everybody wants. Um, a lot of singles make the mistake of putting their life on hold until they find their mate. And, um, and that's a mistake. Um, li living that balanced life would look like having a career, enjoying who you are, having your friends, being, um, you know, being who you are as far as your connection with your family, your career, your friends, and at the same time taking the time for yourself for dating. It, uh, it doesn't, you don't necessarily have to have that someone special in your life. Dating in itself is a very important process. But see, the thing is, I found, Leah, is that I, that's what I wanted to do. When I was first, you know, after I got over the grieving process and everything, I was like, well, I want to date, you know? So I thought, well, I'll go out on a date and I'll get to go bowling and I'll get to do this and this and this. And that's not what happened. I mean, I went on a date and every single date they wanted to go to bed. So, I mean, that's like, well, see, time. <laughs> see, I mean, like, that's where I think, I think personal standards, um, having your own personal standards are, are hugely important they and I think, the man, and I think the man needs to take the role in that you know there are people I mean mm. men well, get out there would. and say well yeah, if they would, if they the would. you know man man's got needs you know if you, you got an itch you got to scratch it well then this uh, you're not an animal you're a man thank so be you a man. okay and but any idiot can take off their clothes it takes a real man to have restraint and a lady if much. the man's not being a man drop that for yeah yeah I mean, that's the other biggest mistake of, of dating relationships is not getting out fast enough. Okay. So you know it's wrong and you stay because you're So you you're know it's idiot. wrong, how do you know when it's right? How because do you, you know, know it's, it's right? wrong because you, you're, you're unhappy. You're unhappy and you, and you have to finally admit that to but yourself. But is life going to be perfect? You're, is dating going to be you're perfect? You're compromising way? yourself and you know it. Okay. okay? So Marlene, Inside it's a we're, we're running short on time and we need to know, how do you know when it's right? You know when it's right when you have this background that you've ha you've observed the person in many different situations okay you've you've taken the time to get to know that person without sexual intimacy okay you've done a lot of different things together you've been together in a lot of different scenarios and um, when you're together you're happy okay. and that person appreciates you for who you are you're ready to lay down your life for that person and they're ready to lay down their life for you and the man is supporting the woman and her dreams, and the woman is supporting the man exactly. and his dreams. Exactly, and nobody and there's, really there's has to sacrifice. Right. Yeah, because, I mean, the, you do sacrifice, but it's, it, it, it works when it's right. You know, you just, when, you're, when a man falls, he falls hard. When, mm -hmm. when a man loves you, you know it, okay, when he's in love with you. When you ha have to constantly earn his love and try to create his love, that's not it. You know it's not it. You're trying to make it it because you want it for whatever reason. You don't want it to end because it's familiar, and you don't want to have to start all over again. Right. See, Let I, him go. I think it works. I think you know it works when both people truly love each other beyond themselves, more than themselves. And uh, when, that, when there's hard times, they don't rely on the, the highs or the emotional experiences to dictate their feelings. When they know that love is more than just the emotion that they feel for a moment, but the choice that they've made for a lifetime. Right. Well, we've run out of time here with you, but uh, again, our, to our panel, Leah, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Brandon, Marlene, you guys have been terrific guests. My yeah. pleasure. Uh, Rebecca, you're wonderful as Go always. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, we hope that we've really been able to show you how to pursue your own purpose in life w and then discover a healthy relationship and then to be able to combine the two and walk in a purposeful, healthy relationship and explore your destiny. Uh, my name is Drew Littlejohns, and from Brightside, thank you for watching, and we hope you join us next time.